In a previous video, I 3D printed these workbench brackets that an overhead light snaps into. I remixed the design for a workbench in my basement, and it works great, and you don't need a big printer. I did it on an A1 Mini. I'll explain it all in today's Film at Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. I did the original over two years ago and still working great. In both cases, I'm using the same shop light that I got at a store called Rural King. But you could do this with any lights that you find. I wanted to hang it above the bench, so I just took some dimensions of this odd shape at the top, and then I wanted to design a bracket around it. That original design was done in Tinkercad, sliced in Cura, and printed on an Ender 2 Pro, which you can't even buy anymore. And I did it with my extra fast profile to 25% infill. And I printed both brackets in 2 hours and 20 minutes on the Ender 2 Pro, which was twice the speed if I would have just used a regular profile. And they've held up. They were screwed into the wall, the light snapped into it, and it's been lighting this bench for over 2 years. And it's working great. I've got no complaints. For this new workbench, I just needed the snap portion, so I'm going to remix it and put a different mounting on this thing. What I need is a long arm so this can hang down from the rafters of the basement. So I just added this block and then stretched it out to 120 millimeters, which I took a measurement and it was approximate. Plus, I wanted this to fit on a small printer, an A1 Mini, to see how well this would work. And then I added a triangular bracket, which I had to resize and reposition, centered it to the whole thing to give it a little side-by-side -side strength. I don't know how much this does, but it looked a lot better. And then I needed to add two holes for screws, and I'm using 4 millimeter holes from my favorites category in Tinkercad. This is a perfect size, and you'll see why in a little bit. So here's my bracket, and two of them fit on an A1 Mini. So I sliced it, and it said 43 minutes to print both of them. This is amazing, and it looks great. So it's faster, and the print quality I get out of this A1 Mini is better than that Ender 2 Pro. The finish is so smooth, and I didn't do anything but standard settings. Here's the two brackets. Now they're actually going to snap on here, but just to make sure it fits, I'm going to slide it over the edge here, and you can see it's fine. It's a little bit loose, but that's what I want. This isn't going to move, but I want it to be able to position where I want it. And I can't slide it on because it's going to hit the plug right there. So that's actually going to hold it. So I can snap these on. So the next step is to mount these to the rafters. The advantage to using the 4mm holes is these drywall screws screw in and hold in place, but I can still spin them. So I screwed in the top screw first and had to go around that pipe. Once I got this into place, I could pivot it and make sure this thing was parallel to the pegboard, which I did with a level. Then I screwed in the second screw and this thing was solid. Now I put a mark on the bracket right at the rafter and then I brought the other bracket in and I put a mark at the same point. This is how I'm going to make sure that they're both at the same height from the rafter. And then I measured from the pegboard to the outer edge of the installed bracket and then I took that same measurement and marked the rafter where the new one's going to go so I know I'm the same distance from the pegboard that way the light will be parallel. So now I just line up those two marks and then do the same thing as before. I installed the top screw and then I can pivot this thing and then use the level to make sure that it's level. And then I can install the second screw. And then this thing is solid just as the first one and we're ready to snap in the overhead light. This thing is positioned perfectly. I just had to wrap the excess cord around one of the brackets, plug it in, pull the chain, and I've got a ton of light over my workbench. This A1 Mini is quickly becoming my favorite printer to use, and a lot of things fit on it. And here's the rest of my tools that I'll put on my electronics workbench to design my electronics, including a PCB mill, which I'm going to use to make circuit boards and then send them to PCBWay. And I do that because they have a great deal. Ten boards for $5 plus shipping. I use them all the time and the quality is excellent. You can even get assembly services if you want that. But you just upload your Gerber files, tell them what features you want, they give you a quote, and then they'll ship it to you somewhere between 3 to 12 days depending on how fast you want it shipped to you. Check out PCBWay.com. I'm telling you, you'll love their service. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hollabuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.